Passengers flying on El Al flights leaving Israel from Ben Gurion Airport will be able to get a free COVID-19 speed test to make sure they don't have the virus. The hospital running this operation for El Al is Sheba Medical Center. And we're now joined by Steve Waltz. He's the international media spokesperson for Sheba. Thanks for being with us, Steve. Uh, so first of all, people who are not vaccinated are supposed to present a negative test result from the last 72 hours when they um, come to take a flight. Why is such a rapid test center even necessary? Well, you know, we this is not new to us. Uh, we did this uh, pilot uh, when people wanted to go to the hotels in a lot a few months ago, uh, when people wanted to go uh, have send their kids to school, when people wanted to go to the theater. This is not a, a new test. What we're doing is we're expanding it. And as you know, there are many, many people who have either been vaccinated once or those who haven't been vaccinated at all, uh, those who might be producing certificates that are suspicious. This provides the ultimate layer of protection, a shield against anyone boarding a flight who might be suspected of having COVID. If you pass the antigen, antigen test within 15 minutes, you can get on the plane. If you do not pass that test, you're not getting on the plane. And this has been a problem before, and this is something that we look to help the government, the Ministry of Transportation, the Ministry of Health, and of course, El Al in solving this problem. Okay, so if I arrive at the airport and I, I do have a, a green label, a green passport after I have been vaccinated, if I just show that on my phone, can I board the flight or will you require me, well, El Al, not you specifically, will El Al require me to take the test after all? Who would no. determine? I guess that's, that's what I'm asking. Be able to board the flight. The idea is that there are too many suspicious people out there, uh, you know, that have caused a lot of problems for this country and other countries. So what we're doing is we're trying to stop uh, any flights from uh, leaving. In terms of uh, today, we're talking about El Al, which we're working with, in preventing any possibility of uh, falsehoods or people who, uh, you know are suspected of not producing the proper certificates, not having more than one vaccine. The idea is to provide the ultimate protection. And I think the time has come to do that, especially since we all wanna live a normal life within the realm of uh, this pandemic. Okay, um, who's financing this? Uh, is it a government initiative uh, supporting El Al or uh, is it uh, El Al itself? Uh, this is in conjunction with the Ministry of Transportation, the Ministry of Health. Remember, Sheba is a government hospital. Therefore, it is at the behest and the beck and call of the government of Israel. So whatever ministry asks us to help, we step in and help. Okay. Steve Walls from Sheba Medical Center, thank you so much for finding the time to talk to us today. Thank you.